vibes today. This one is located just off of the Smith Dorian in Kananaskis. This one is about 6.2K with an elevation gain of 495 meters. I think the last time I did this one, I clocked in around seven though. Don't always take the off trail stat seriously if you are looking at hikes because it could be off a little bit, but yeah. This one has been so far so good. The trail is nicely packed down. Spikes, I feel like you're still gonna need them, especially when you're coming down. So this one is a really good workout. It is pretty steep and we are just at the cross country trail crossing to go up to Gypsum Ridge. So I will see you guys at the top.
No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears But I see the light from far away, it's down the line Maybe I should not give up without a fight Cause there will be a time I've been trying to fight the demons in my mind I'll prevail with every battle if I'm right Guess my aim was off, the target's out of sight Would I be better if I left it all behind? Cause we can find a way, we can find Welcome to my after hike summary for Gypsum Ridge. So this is my second time hiking Gypsum. It is a winter favorite for me. This is a great winter option that's generally safe for this time of year. It is a beautiful and stunning ridge walk. I will warn you guys, there is a moderate avalanche risk when doing this hike, or it's like moderate to mild, I guess, but keep that in mind when you're doing this hike. I went on a day that the trail was really nicely packed down there was a lot of people there it seems to have gotten more popular in the past year that i've done it i did it last year for the first time there was no one on the trail last year and then this time around this trail was full of people actually there was a lot of groups of people that day that we went i felt safe on the trail that day the weather at that point in time when i did this hike it was generally consistent it wasn't like changing and stuff like that and that's really when you have to watch for terrain that's more of an avalanche risk is when you have like when it goes from minus 40 to like plus six the next day that sort of thing there was no extreme weather changes around the time that i did this hike for safety and everything like that so let's get right into the after hike summary this one i clocked in at six kilometers with an elevation gain of 485 meters this one is on the steeper side but it is quick and short and when you get to the ridge it is a beautiful ridge walk the ridge walk on this one it's mostly flat I would say it's not like King Creek Ridge where there's like rolling hills almost this one is generally flat this one is pretty good this one is across from Kent Ridge South which I did the following week so my next after hike summary will feature Kent these two are side by side with each other so when you are looking for gypsum ridge make sure you're on the right side of the road because last year when I did this one for the first time I actually started on the Kent Ridge Trail by accident so it's easy to get lost in this area and just 
make sure you're on the right trail, I guess. This one was a beautiful one. The trail was in great condition because there were so many people on it. The river crossing in the beginning was completely frozen, so it wasn't sketchy at all. My friend and I did run into people that were looking for the Black Prince hike. So this is around the Black Prince area. So if you are familiar with the suspension bridge, Black Prince Cirque or Kent, like it's in that general area. South Lawson is around there as well. And there was people that were looking for Black Prince and we actually recommended that they do this one and they actually did and really enjoyed it. So I love it when you can suggest things to other hikers and they actually take your advice and fall in love with the hike. That's amazing. So the ridge walk on this one was beautiful. Once you get there, it is a little bit of a grind to get there. It's not really switchbacky a whole lot. This one is almost like straight up for most of the way until you get to the ridge. And then when you get to the ridge, you get views galore. It's like 360 views of Kananaskis. You get like the lakes on the one side, you get King Creek Ridge. You can actually see from this one as well. And it was a beautiful day when we got to the ridge. Of course, it started to snow. It was kind of like overcast most of the day that we went, but it did just start to snow when we got to the top, which was, it made for a really cold break up there, but we did take a lot of photos and just thoroughly enjoy the view of this one. I think the last time I did this one, the weather was super mild and my friend and I stayed at the top for like almost two hours. In this case, I think we stayed up there for a little bit over an hour. It was just, you know, if you work that hard to do a hike, you wanna enjoy the summit, of course. And yeah, overall, highly recommend this one and I will see you guys soon in my next video. If you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times week Sunday Wednesday and Friday and I will see you guys soon bye